What do you say we uh, kick this thing off? Yeah, go ahead. Get it started, man. I like it when you... I like your entry points. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you like my entry yeah, points? Yeah, I like it when you... At the beginning when you, you're staring at me. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I think I liked your entry point on this one. No, I don't think so. I think, I think we're inside no, it, man. No, no you I had the better entry point. No, no, I think we're inside no, the episode. No, no, no. I look forward to just you looking over and no, I'm I like, lo- that's when I know it's, we're A-OK. We're good to go. Yeah. yeah. So do it again. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Would you feel better if I put on glasses? I mean, if that'll make you feel better. Yeah, go, you have some shades right there, like right by the um, the weight. Right in front of the weight. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, you have the aviators. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah, I feel like... Do you feel better? You, we're you scissoring feel, up. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We're we're sinker scissoring? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look cool, man. Do I? You know, you look like... Uh, what's that movie with Sly Stallone? Cobra? Do you remember that movie? Yeah. The, the poster, he had those kinds of glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Top Gun, Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah. Top Do you Gun. think I look like Iceman? Yeah, Iceman. That's his homie in the back cockpit, right? I think so. Or was that Goose? Ooh, I think I'm more of a Goose. You, uh, Val Kilmer was Iceman, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't think I can pull yeah, off Val yeah, Kilmer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're more like Goose. Yeah, yeah, I got more of the Goose. Yeah, you're more like Goose. I got more of the Goose egg. Damn good movie, by the way. Top Gun? Top Gun, have original. You seen, have you seen Bottom Gun? <laughs> that's a real thing uh uh-uh. uh let's uh not ignore the elephant in the room yeah I mean you notice something about my yellow not yellow my left eyeball hey man I don't want to say that you have yellow eyes <laughs> no they're not yellow but my left eyeball wait a second okay yeah I see a little something a little yeah. something's going on what's going on it's called conjunctivitis oh yeah hello and um I wrote a little song. <laughs> I, wrote a little, I wrote a little song about you it. Did? Yeah, and I wrote parts for both of us. That was very kind of you. And yeah, um, yeah and then you you typed it out, and yeah, I feel, I feel pretty good. We just about rehearsed it. it a little bit. Yeah, I feel pretty good about. Do doing you want to try to get through one? If you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm hoping I don't mess up because no, I mean we could always. That's the beauty about this. But it's not live. We could always redo yeah. it. Yeah, and let's just have fun with it. You know, I like that. This is a pretty truthful. It's fictional and truthful. <laughs> okay. The first, the very first line is fictional, but it, the rest is truth. So is there a genre of movie that, that is, uh, maybe this is based on true events. You know how they do that in movies? Um, like, uh, give me an example. Oh, like there will be blood. Was that based on true events? I think so. Damn good movie. Um, let's throw another one in there though. If that's not the case, uh, like the hurricane or something, or Ali, J- Jamie Fox, Ali. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's Will like Smith, based Will on Smith, tr- Ali. Yeah, yeah, that's like based on true events. Yeah, true events. Guys, how are you doing out there? <laughs> oh, Rudy, 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 Notre Dame, Notre Dame. Yeah, based on true events. There you go. The that's, a, that's the best one. Okay. Rudy, Rudy. Great. Yeah. So this song is based on true events. Yeah. Hope you guys are having a good time except, out there. Except for the very first line. Show, show Steve some love in the comments for even being here and making it this week. Oh, I it's mean, been a ru- it's, I've been through the ringer. I've been through the ringer, but let, he, we're here. And he wrote a song about yeah, it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> my buddy Jeremiah farted in my eye. It felt good, Steve, I won't lie. A shard is a fart, but mixed with poo. I squeeze hard on my butt, now I see glue. Stuck between my eyelids when I wake. Can't beat around the bush, Steve, you look baked. I need eye drops to fight it off. At least you don't have a cold, can't hear you cough. Conjunctivitis. Attack like Titus. If Steve's eyes were a car, 
broken down He would need Midas Conjunctivitis Is like Steve's Gingiva Hides I got boogers in my eyes Stuck between my eyelids Conjunctivitis 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 Steve's got a little pink And a star About the next time I fart in his eye <laughs> Because this week he felt like he was gonna die Conjunctive hide it That was pretty good. That was fun. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I liked it. I mean, I wrote it late last night, and it was, like I said, the first line, you didn't fart in my eye, but the rest, the other stuff is... It's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just thought it'd be a fun beginning to the song. I... This is one of my first times I've seen you not well. Yeah. And, you know... As your scissor brother, I feel for you right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I yeah. think our viewers at home are feeling for you a little bit right now, too. I appreciate that, you too. You know what? Mm -hmm. We can tell your energy is off. And you know what we're going to do? It's low. It's low, but... And that's okay. It's okay. The fact that you're freaking here, dude... It's a miracle, you know? ...is amazing. Oh, yeah. And you know what we're going to do? What do you got planned? We're going to scissor away the sickness right now. <laughs> Come on, everybody. It's scissor time. <gasps> One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Scissor Brothers! Oh, Country Crock is one of my favorites. Wow. Dude, what are you doing going through my fridge? I was trying to find my road dates. Oh! Here they are. <laughs> there you go. I'm in San Francisco this weekend. Come see me at Cobb's Comedy Club. Also, where, Steve, where'd you go? Where'd you go, man? I'm right here, man. I'm just still upset that you opened up on my fridge. But oh, is that why you walked away? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> January 14th, come see me in Palm Springs. And then also, I will be in Indianapolis and Fort Wayne the weekend of January 21st and 22nd. I'll be in San Diego, January 26th. And I'll be headlining in Houston, January 28th through 29th. I'm in Huntington Beach, February 5th. Headlining there, and my pal Stevie Weeby is doing guest spots there. And then Des Moines, Iowa, February 11th through 12th, and then March 17th through 19th in Cincinnati, Ohio. And wait a second, Steve, get back in here. My what? Friend. Don't you have road dates, Bob? I actually do. There's Scissor Bros live podcast dates as we speak. Big announcement. January 8th at Soul Joel's in Jeffersonville, Pennsylvania. February 3rd in Oxnard, February 6th, Irvine Improv, March 23rd, Ontario Improv, and April 6th at the San Jose Improv. Also consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash scissorbros. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you, too. Check out my special at youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins if you haven't, and all the Scissor siblings who've left likes and comments on there. I can't thank you enough. I love you. Check it out today. And let's get back into this episode of Scissor Bros. Love you guys. On a lighter note, on a more positive note, uh, how was your Christmas in Big Bear, my man? 
Ooh, girl. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah? I am still sore from snowboarding. You snowboarded? Yeah. Wow. Dude, it was so fun, but I fell so many times. I hadn't gone in a couple of years, and it's like I had forgotten everything ever from snowboarding. So what mountain were it, what 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 mountain is up there? Uh It's just called Big Bear. Snow Summit? Is it called Yeah, Snow Summit. Snow Summit. Yeah. I don't know how I remember that. Yeah. That's good. Have you snowboarded that? I think when I was uh, middle school maybe or like when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. When I was younger, yep. Okay. Yeah, we did that and then we went used to go to Mammoth Mountain. Have you been to Mammoth? No. Oh my, I mean that's I mean, I remember I lied about my skiing experience my friends knew how to ski i think a lot of us have done that and we took the gondola all the way to the top every time i hear gondola i think of lord of the rings <laughs> the gondola all the way to the top to this point called scotty's mm -hmm. and it was like this was it a black diamond yeah it was like a quadruple diamond it was so high up the mountain it was windy Ooh. you know <laughs> and i remember i had to do it yeah but I, 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 I was lying. I didn't know how to ski. Mm -hmm. I, caught a, I caught an edge right away. My boot fell off. No. My boot fell off. The ski was still attached to the boot. <laughs> it was going down the <laughs> and mountain? And I just rolled down half the mountain. Oh. oh. Like, a, like a tumbleweed. Yeah. Wow. But uh, you had fun. <laughs> you had a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Had a good time. I went with uh, our friend Peter Banachowski. I love Peter, dude. We all love Peter, man. Love that dude. Love that dude. I really uh, do. He's so, a good dude. So he uh, he stayed uh, a night with us in Big Bear, which I invited you and Bob just in case you didn't have I plans. I appreciate that too, brother. Uh, but uh, he stayed the night, and then uh, my my pals uh, John McCarthy and his wife Evelina they stayed uh, the night as well. They had uh, like a few rooms in this Airbnb. Was it like a cabin you rented? Like, yeah. What was that situation like? It was awesome. It had bunk beds in every room. It was it a log cabin like yeah. your typical it what was, you would imagine, oh, dude. I got to take my son and show him snow for the first time, and it was such a cool. Did you capture that thing to see? Uh, we captured him like uh, uh, going down like. Uh, a little uh, uh, sled, like we, I bought sleds for us. I did the whole touristy thing. I got sleds for us and like we went down this little, it was like the smallest hill ever uh, in the front yard of the cabin, just so he could experience that a little bit. And it was just, it was, it was just a cool moment, you know, him seeing snow and him touching it and feeling it and just seeing a human being like take that in was like, whoa. You're doing like father moves. <laughs> I, I am a dad. You're doing it, man. I'm doing my best, man. I'm You're doing figuring a damn it out, good figuring job, it out bro. along the way. There's no manual, is there? No. No. Can I just say when uh when we're doing our gingerbread thing uh a week whatever? Yeah. And your son I w I was like so aware cuz like he was like I'm actually glad you brought that up cuz we have a clip. There you go. Be careful. Then look what you're doing, man. You're doing it on your own. Look at you. Well, watch it. You're doing great. What else do you want to do? There you go. This is like, I, cause it reminds me of like a walk, you know, cause my dad needed a walker. Like I'm being his walker right now. Oh no. That's, you're good, you're good. Woo, I almost had a heart attack. Oh. You're good. Okay. You okay? Good, good. Okay, hold on. Be careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful of the edge here. You guys, because this is, a, you know, it's sharp. You guys gotta be careful. Wow, this is crazy, dude. Like, you have to, like, have your more senses, like, aware. Spidey senses? Yeah. Because I remember one time when I was in the bathtub and um, I, uh, my mom wasn't paying attention and I fell and slipped and cracked my, and I, I remember blood coming out of my head in the, to the bath water. But that was an accident. Um, yeah, so I was, yeah, I was nervous. Yeah. It, it like gave me another sensory thing going did, on. Did like, it make you feel a little bit like a dad? Because you're like on the lookout. Well, you know what I, I mean? wanted to protect him. Because you're, you know, his, your scissor yeah, uncle. Yeah, I know, I know. I wanted, as an uncle, uncle I wanted Steve. to, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to protect him. I was like, oh no, there's a sharp edge of that thing and I don't want I don't him to. Do. Yeah, I was like doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 
I had probably, probably the most uneventful Christmas. I was in bed drinking cranberry juice by myself. <laughs> We can cut that. We can edit that. Out. We'll edit it back in. Um, okay. So yeah. Did I you want skate on the Xbox? <laughs> I play a little skate. Well, you know. Um, you know what? Hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it to positivity well, though. Can I, but you know can what? I say I did watch some. I uh, watched some movies. You watched some movies. Yeah, Let's I get bought- into that in a second. But can I say I tried to reach out to you. Didn't get a response, but I didn't want to push. I didn't, didn't respond to anything. I know. I was literally I could tell that you were. I could tell that you were in yeah. a, uh, you needed a sleep phase. But you know what kind of gave me some pep in my step? What? I bought the original Footloose. You did? Yeah. You know the one with Kevin Bacon? Oh, yeah. Footloose. A footloose. Everybody got your Sunday shoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we yeah. are for my knees. You know who was also in that movie? Ugh. That rest in peace sean penn's younger brother uh what's his name Uh oh sorry he's a pen though oh that's all we need to know he's a pen he was also in reservoir dogs he was the one of the main dudes in reservoir dogs do you think that damn good actor do you think it's a similar thing that sean penn would get upset anytime somebody said to him hey aren't you so-and-so's brother you know what I think about that like you know because my brother's in entertainment and I, I always think about that dynamic because I was just like think about the Wilsons Luke and Owen come on that's like a classic pairing Owen's obviously the bigger brother yeah like, like he's I mean like bigger like like star yeah, yeah. if you want to put but you like know that. can I throw another curveball at you yeah I, I'm catching them on my um YouTube feed the other night I was watching I don't know why because I don't watch the Oscars but it, it, the uh oh daniel day lewis popped up uh, doing his he won uh, like several oscars but it was at the academy awards but then i kept watching i went down the rabbit hole joaquin phoenix do you oh, remember man. his brother river yeah. river phoenix yeah yeah so i forgot about that i'm like oh yeah his brother was like remember he was the man my own private idaho remember that movie like he was in a lot of movies like uh and then you know how he you remember how he passed away um it was off Sunset Boulevard at, uh, I think, like the uh, Viper Room or Whiskey A Go Go. I don't remember that. Yeah, but anyway, so you you mentioned the brother dynamic, Owen and Luke. Yeah. But dude, like Joaquin and River Phoenix. Crazy. Because Joaquin, well, he was a younger one, right? I don't know. I think he is. He was a younger one. Speaking but of he, Footloose. Oh, are these the coolest aqua? Adidas Korean slides ever that Steve got me uh, for my so good in those, birthday. Yeah, you look like a Korean, like Koreatown gangster. <laughs> What's the? Is there like a? I don't know, like man. I don't want to get into that world. Yeah, I just, <laughs> let's not get. It. <laughs> we might have to edit that out. Just I, me I, putting. I don't, a, I don't, I don't me want, flashing a K. I, I don't want. I don't want like um, Asian gangs looking for us. <laughs> hey, fool! You're. <laughs> Where you from, fool? <laughs> I'm from I'm from the SB. Santa Barbara, fool? No, Scissor Brothers. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, just checking, fool. So, okay, different kind of Christmas for you, but you know, did yeah. you he- did you heat up the cranberry juice? No, I, ooh, is that a thing? No. No, I drink it cold. I had um these little uh, I had a little six pack. Okay. So shout out to Craig got me those. Shout out to the homie Craig, shout my out neighbor, to the homie Craig. my homie Craig. Yeah, dog. I uh, got me a six pack of those and uh, apple snapples. I was drinking those. You love those. Yeah, that's like my new favorite thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's delicious. I know it's not the best for you. It's a delicious. Though. So maybe this will help cheer you up a little bit. When I was back in Kansas, I did a podcast with my dad he did an episode of jeremiah wonders i went i love your back, dad man and we were in the backyard and we did yeah, an so on- i'm taking a piss back there oh yeah that's He's a my man's guy. man man's because man i do right stuff there. like that oh i know uh, you do it in the front <laughs> just edit that <laughs> okay sorry about uh, that time stamp that uh-huh. one too yep, my friend you got and, that uh, edit that out uh-huh. okay. well, then we'll edit it right back <laughs> in um so uh my dad and i for you sang an encore of we love you Because you're Korean. I can't wait to hear that. Let's roll that footage. We We love you because you're Korean. We respect you, Kwong-woo. 
Love you, Dad, dude. Thanks <laughs> so much. Thanks, guys. God bless. I love your pops. Yeah. He's a good he dude, He loves man. you, dude. Yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah. Yeah. Do you really mean that I can stay with him if I get better? Dude, absolutely. What do you mean, if you get better? See, that's what we got to get out of your head right now. You're in a little bit I'm, of a I'm dark a li- place. I'm in a little bit of fear, man. Hey, man, I'm going to shovel you out yeah. with scissors, and I'm going to catapult you into the positive Yeah, I need some force magic field. eye drop juice or something, man, you know? Do you want me to spit in your eye? <laughs> spit in my I'm eye. very clean. I'm very clean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, but then... um. Can I bring this up? Uh, I'm not a huge Spider-Man. I wasn't that big on it. Yes, we can bring but, this uh, up. But uh, without spoilers. Without, it was a damn good movie. So Steve and I, uh, we didn't know that Steve had the conjunctivitis yet. Yeah, um, I might have got it there. I don't know. I might have got it at the theater. No, I, I look back at uh, the footage of... Uh, uh, well, let's roll a couple clips. Okay. Steve and I are about to see Spider-Man. Let's go. Anything to say, Steve? No, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> Just saw Spider-Man and it's so good. <laughs> and I can't fall asleep because it was so fun. Yeah. If you look closely, you can see that your eye is starting to get like a little pink. And then afterwards, dude, we went to Korean. That's when I start feeling it. Monsu, Monsu, uh, uh, Son Dong. Oh no, Monsu is the other Korean place that we've been. No, Song Son Dong, Song Nong Dan, Song Nong Dan, Dan, Song Nong Dan. Okay, we uh, there's a little clip of that. that. Well, 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 it isn't. Steve and I at our new favorite Korean restaurant. Yummy, yummy. By this point in the night, yeah, it had started affecting right. you, and you were like, Jeremiah, like I'm gonna turn my eye away because like I'm not feeling real good about like what's going on. Was that that night? That was that same night. Okay, so that's I when kept I had you out kind of late that night yeah, because we were celebrating yeah, my birthday. Yeah, yeah. We had gotten um, that was that my night. wife had gotten us tickets to go see Spider Man, yeah, and I was yeah. like a little kid afterwards. It was so fun. Oh, it dude, was so good. Oh, <laughs> dude, I don't know if you want to. I'm gonna throw a curveball at you. Do you remember what happened at the beginning of the movie? How the, those people were trying to take our seats? <laughs> um, You saw I've me. I've never seen you. Dude, I never... I thought you were going to snap. I have never... That was like my version of when I snapped watching The Master with my brother at the Arclight where I, I snapped at the, the, the woman and her husband. But dude... I've never, because you're usually cool breeze yeah. wherever we go publicly. Yeah. You're always just chill. Yeah. I almost saw you lose it. <laughs> that theater dude. Because t- just tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. Well, I kind of want to hear your version of it. You want to hear then, my version? I want to hear your version, and then I'll I'll jump in if it gets too like I'll explain myself. I want to hear what you what you saw, what was going on, and then I'll explain what was happening, why I was so upset. Okay, so let me just talk about when we first walked into the theater. And also, how long have I been telling you how excited I am to see this movie? It was, it was you were building it up. Like a, like a full month. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I didn't, and that's the thing. I didn't realize how big of a fan of the the franchise you were, like yeah. into Spider Man. Oh you yeah. Were. We kind of got there at the right before they were gonna show the, the trailers. Mm-hmm. By the way, they showed like fifteen movie trailers. <laughs> it's the, one of the only times at a movie where I was like, "All right, this is starting Dude, to get a little ridiculous." They, they legit showed what ten or twelve? At least ten. It was. It was. We're not at exaggerating. At least ten. AMC. Shout out to AMC. Yeah, shout out. Ten they trailers. They really just. Hey, they're making that ad money. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they are for sure. Yeah. So we walked in right when they're about to do that, and already. Off top, we had a hard time finding our seats because, like, the way the rows are labeled, they're, they're like just not labeled they're the tiny best. little squares. You have to look at yeah. the gr- you have to look at the ground. But we got and- there early enough where we were respectful, where we we're not like walking the aisles while people are trying to watch the nah. previews and stuff. We got there on time. You know on what I mean? time, yeah. Um, I know why you brought that up. That was, that was clever of you. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we found our seats, mm-hmm. and so I thought we we're. We're just in the clear. Yeah. 
Oh, and then let's not forget, we both had our own tubs of popcorn. That was a plus. Well, Steve was sensing, he had a spidey sense that he might have conjunctivitis. Oh, so, yeah. So he, he's like, you know what? We're going to get our own separate popcorns um, just in case I do have pink eye or something like that. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. And so uh, we we're enjoying our snacks. Uh-huh. And the movie has now started, or at least like the eighth trailer or seventh or eighth trailer has. It's dark in yeah. there. The the trailers had been going on the first time they approached us. Okay. All right. Hold up. You're going to have your turn. Okay. Hold up. You're going to okay. have your turn. Okay. Hold okay. Up. Okay. 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 So we noticed just rant, like people started like specifically looking at our row, like looking at our seats, like, um, are you in the right seat? And you I'm, ever have that feeling where people are looking at you and then you look and they actually are looking they're at looking you? They're looking at you. They were looking directly at us and then... They they said, "Hey, uh, you're, yeah, I think in, our you're seats. in our seats." Yeah. Let me give this context. Where we were s- sat, it was the divide between the first island of rows and the handicap section. And the handicap section. Right. We were in the very first row where the handicap so, section starts. Very distinct seats. Very like we were Not basically in the front row in the second section. Yeah. Like you know, there's a yeah. huge area. We had all the leg room in the world, put you know, just to give them context. Yeah. But that wasn't the only people that, like, more and more people. The same, a, a, a girl and her boyfriend or their friend, there, there was a group. There's a of, friend group. A friend group that kept, they were literally standing in the, on, in the middle of the island, just having a full-on conversation. That's when I started noticing you were losing your cool. Uh-huh. Now, you continue. Okay. So let me let me pick this up. First time, it's during the trailers. They say, hey, you guys are in our seats. I go, no, these are our seats. And I show them our, our tickets and I show them where we we're at. And that was polite the first time. Then they accused us a second time when the movie is starting. And this is when I lost my freaking Dude, cool. even the way, hold up, the way, hold up, man. <laughs> the way you're even talking about it. I'm sorry, I'm getting this, heated thinking I'm about it right now. I'm just you know, the garage is cold, but I just felt the temperature rise a few degrees, my friend. To the hot tamale temperature. I'm just saying, so dude. So just, just, because just, the way you just said those last, your eyes just bulged up. You're like, and then, you know, but because continue. then they accuse us a second time after they've already, after we've already politely said, said to them that we, that these are our seats and we showed them proof. They come back. They're like, you're in our seats. I, and I go, no, we're not in your seats. I just told you we're not in your seats seats because we bought these tickets and we're in these seats right now and i said and you need to go figure this out over there because the movie has started and you're blocking people's view of the screen (laughs) that's the only i remember you saying something like that under your breath but you didn't say it like that you went like they were walking away and you went the movie started you said something like I that. I yelled after them? You yelled. Like, they were literally walking to the side of the theater, and you yelled that across the theater. You go, uh, the movie started. I yeah, the movie started. Because I blocked out with rage. <laughs> no, I saw I remember red. you I doing that. I've never, look, I've never, ever heard you talk like that. Don't mess with me and Spider-Man. Dude, All you, right? you told them, you said something else before that. What did I say? Something like being disruptive. Movie started. You said, you said something. You said a uh, one line, then that line. Oh, so total dad well, move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Movie yeah. started. Yeah. Like they being were standing disruptive, in the middle started. of the freaking in front of everybody's view of the screen. I was like, go over there if you're gonna be on your cell phones and, and yeah. figure out. They came in late too. Disrespect, man. All goes back to respect. So what? Can I ask you? <laughs> Did yeah. I'm just like your eyeballs are just like bulging. They're gyrating. Out of you. Your eyes are getting this big. Hold up. Can I ask you? I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Okay. Um, What two or three things annoy you with that specific thing that we went through? Like, why why did it disturb you or annoy you so much? Think about it. Then answer. Thought about it. Now I'm going to answer. That was pretty quick. I really want you to... Oh, no, no. I've been thinking about this for weeks. Go ahead. Go ahead. For as long as as we saw this. The reason why it upset me so much... Was because every person, we are seeing this movie on opening night, all right? Everyone who's in there is a giant Spider-Man fan. Kids were dressed up as Venom, Spider-Man. I had my Marvel shirt on. Hold up, can I throw? That's great you brought that up. Because remember we were in line, the concession line? Yeah. 
And dude, those those kids in front of us. Yeah. Dude, they were in one of the kids was in the the black full Spider-Man. venom suit. Yeah, full venom. Yeah. Or the other one was in the 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 Spider-Man the, red, the suit. OG red and blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. So people were dressed up for this event. Dude, it's an event. Yeah. So to not respect all these super fans night of and to be coming in late and rude like that, that's when I'm like, all right, that's when I have to lay down the law, man. With great power comes great responsibility. And right. right now, this is my moment to tell these villains right now yeah. to get out of the way because I'm about to watch Spider Man. I know. Um, can I can I play devil's advocate again? I'm just. I'm gonna, advocate, well, no, no, this is fun. This is a fun exercise for me. This is a Did what somebody if. Somebody say devil's advocate. <laughs> this is a what if moment. Pacino. What if. What if. What if. What if. They continued to do that throughout the movie. I would have. Wait, hold up. Think. I want you to really no, 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 think no, about no, this I, response because I, 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 I just no, threw no, you I'm a thinking, curveball. My I would have lost. I, I throw you a curveball. You would have seen me curveball. lose it legitimately no, on they, these people. Scissor Brothers. Oh no, Talkie. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not safe to browse on these websites without a VPN. This is my private time, Douglas. I'm on the D&D site. I understand it's your private time, but How you How can need... I help you? This is my private time. I know it's your private time, but you need to be on a virtual private network. Well, I want to get this, the Wild Beyond the Witch Light of Fey Wild Adventures. Well... Um, if this is a new thing they have, I want to get. Well, I understand... It's a new game. That that's probably going to collect cookies from this website, and probably it's going to ask you to make a payment. You need to have a virtual private network so people don't collect your data from these other sites and other apps. You don't this want your... Is my time though man i understand it's your time I'm i not... told you you have to not be before you enter my premises god damn it douglas hello yes okay i'm listening so i need to secure the site you need a virtual private network like nord vpn you know what i've heard about nord Tell well, me more. So basically, let's say you're in China or another country, right? Yeah. And you want to access Netflix, but you can't ac access Netflix in that region because you're in another country. Okay. Using a virtual private network, you can secretly cloak yourself like an invisibility cloak. So are you saying that no one will know I was on this Dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons site? Absolutely and I nobody. Could secure my network. So you could even be looking at more depraved things. Isn't that right, Draconio? Exactly, sir. Okay, well, where do, where do they have to go to get this awesome thing? Go to nordvpn.com slash scissor, scissor and use code scissor to get up to 73% off your NordVPN plan plus a bonus gift. It's equivalent to buying a cup of coffee every month, a small price to pay for the premium cybersecurity and access to vast amounts of entertaining content. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee if NordVPN is not for use. So there's no risk. So you might as well try it. I mean, come on, grab NordVPN Cyber Month deal right now. Go today. Nord VPN slash scissor. That's something I've always wanted to do with a woman is scissor. What's the most you've ever done with a woman, Taki? No comment there, Douglas. That's my business. Nord VPN. What's up, man? Hey, uh, what you looking for? I'm looking for those Scissor Bros jerseys. Yeah, I mean, take a pick. I mean, wow, you got basketball jerseys? Football jerseys? Baseball jerseys? Do you have one in large in my size? Which one are you looking for? Baseball, basketball, what are you looking for? What about a baseball one? We ran out of those blue ones. We got white on blue, are you interested? Let's try it. I happen to have one right here. Whoa, where did you get these? Well, you can get the rest of all your orders at fcustom.com. Wait, so you're saying you can customize whatever kind of jersey you want and make your own Scissor Bros jersey at fcustom.com? Damn right. Use promo code Scissor Bros for 10% off at fcustom.com. Ooh, and it's a nice fit. That looks real good on you. Thanks, pal. Come back anytime. Maybe I will. At fcustom.com. Do you have any cocaine? No. All right. <laughs> no, I'm talking about throughout the whole movie. 
They kept walking to us. I, I think you guys are in our seat, really. Can you check your ticket stubs, please? I'll be like, let's go to the lobby. Whoa. <laughs> Time stamp that. Whoa. All right, let's get that out. What, say that again? We'll edit it back Let's in. take that to the lobby. If they would have kept approaching me, this is what I would have done. I go, let's talk in the lobby, all right? I would have taken that guy you to the lobby. You would have sacrificed your, oh, your I movie have, experience? To help everybody else in the audience? Absolutely. I would have, I would have done that. You would have been of service else. to the crowd. Yeah. I would have been like, let's to talk. To complete strangers. Let's go. Lobby. You would have said, let's take it to the let's lobby. Let's take this to the lobby. Then I show him the proof of where we're sitting and I'm be like, you need to stop bothering me. Otherwise, I'm going to get you kicked out. Go you Karen know, on them. Go Karen. Can I, you know what? Go I Corbin think, on their you ass. You know what I think? This is Corbin. a character th character trait that I noticed about you, which I, I really admire. What? Because I asked you another story back in the day, months back. Because what we're talking about, I don't know, it was, it was about like, you know how like, like, you know where I live? Yeah. There's sometimes there's shady people that like meth addicts that walk back there. Right. And then, but you, you mentioned a story that had to do with you protecting your family and you like confronting this person. Like, hey man, like what's going on? You know? Yeah. I like that about you where you're a nice guy, but there's a threshold. There's a moment where once... A pr individual crosses that line with mm -hmm. you. Yeah, you turn in. It's kind of like um, I just saw um, Gladiator with Russell Crowe or Bruce Banner and Incredible yeah, Hulk. Yeah, you become exactly. You become that Gladiator in that Coliseum where you're like, okay, that's it. I'm putting on my gear. Here's my sword. It, yeah, you know, I I gave you several chances. Let's go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because normally, what people don't know, you are the nicest guy. You are. But then something has to happen specifically where you put on the armor, you get your, you get your, you get it all sorted out and you're like, okay, that's it. I gave you a chance. Now I'm holding my, I'm sorry. I have to kill you now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I like that about you. No. Can I ask you this? I, like, I'm going to throw you another curveball. I stand up for my family and my friends. That's what it is at the end of the that's day. That's what it this is. This is what it is. I'm a very loyal person. Yeah. I'm going to throw another one. What? I want you to think about this one. Now, has this ever happened in, in your profession where you're doing a stand-up show and something like that happens with the crowd where you're like, uh, I did all the crowd work I could do, man, and I'm trying to be positive, but I'm going to have to put my foot down and then get security and you're out of here. Go ahead. <sighs> Think about it and go ahead. Yeah, I've... Uh... I'm not proud of it, but I've I've gone a little bit too far with certain audiences. Tell me one story. Give me an, give me give me um, an example. I made a girl cry once. <laughs> Cut that out! Cut that out! Jeremiah, she was heckling the whole show, Dude, and they now, reached that up, threshold. Hold up! Hold up! What? I want to hear this story from beginning to freaking end. Okay. Okay. Think about it and go. There used to be this Saturday night show that I used to do at this place called I.O. West. Okay. West Hollywood? Uh, essentially. It was Santa on Monica. Hollywood Boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard. Okay. It was, a, it was a Hollywood Boulevard and like Vine almost. Okay. Now, this show was, it was a basically comedians performing for other comedians, essentially. Me and my buddy, Justin Alexio, were the stand-ups and we hosted it. And then we had improv teams who would join us and they would perform on the show. During my set, there was another comedian that I found out later. She was heckling me. It was another comedian, so they should know. She was an improviser. Wait, well, okay? you didn't say that. I'm saying it right now. Continue. So she's heckling me, and uh, she, in the middle of my set, goes, that's a Will Ferrell joke. And I go, excuse me? Give me a minute. Oh, give me a minute. Just give me a sec. I go. Oh, wait, hold on. I go. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. What joke are you referring to? And she goes, "Oh, the joke you just said." I go, "Well, first of all, Will Ferrell is not a stand-up comedian." <laughs> Your eyes are getting big again. Man. I'm getting angry just rethinking <laughs> about this. 
And then I go, and then can you tell me if that was from a movie or something that I'm not aware of? Because I'd like to not do it again if it's actually a Will Ferrell joke. She goes, no, it's just kind of, you know, you just said it like Will Ferrell. Wait, she's talking she's while talking you're on like stage? This? Yes, yes. She's talking to you when you're doing your act. Yes. And I go, wow. that, I go, that's a pretty big, You, ca-. I said, that's a huge accusation to a comic to just tell me that I'm doing somebody else's joke on stage and then have no proof to back it up. No, whatsoever but it's just like cont- uh, go ahead so I mean, she like like i shut it down and then like i like basically like she said something else and then i went i lost i don't even remember all the stuff that i said i just made her feel very very tiny like you could fit her in a pocket no, okay i don't want you don't have to regurgitate like the dialogue yeah i don't even but, remember but, it but were you as far as your tonality were you were you did you raise it a couple notches yeah i took it too were you far. like it was like one of the like i was yelling yeah i was yelling on the mic yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why this brings you so much joy it's not stuff that i'm proud of it's like it's stuff that like when i lose my cool it happens every once in a while it's, it's and fun, then it's funny to me because you're it's it's, I know. it's so hard to get you to that point but I, it's, it's very hard yeah and then found out she was an improviser and she was so shooken from this experience that she didn't go up and perform with her team and then after the show, they were all her and her improv group. I hear from the window, just like a movie, <laughs> on the top floor, they're talking crap on me. I can hear them. And they're like, that guy was such a dick. I can't believe he did that to you. All this stuff. And then I walk down and, uh, and, uh, oh man. And, uh, the girl was, uh, she was crying and I went up and I was just like, I'm sorry that that went a little bit too far. Oh, man. And tried to uh, mend. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is Steve's new favorite segment of just d- Jeremiah sharing stories that make him look like a dick. <laughs> You're loving this. Give me one more story, man. <laughs> just one more. Dude, my eye hurts. So please give me one more story. My eye, my eye could use it. Go ahead. Um, I upset somebody so much after a show once at a bar where they came up to me and they said. Good luck with your career. And then they stormed off and I never saw them again. Yeah, you give me a th- give me a third. Give me a third. <laughs> that, that, no, that's too quick, man. No context, no nothing. You just give me a third. Map it out. This is my new favorite segment, by the way. What? I, I love instances where I, I lose my it. cool. Jeremiah lo- loses I got cool. some too, but this is I want you to shine right now. Please. Oh, I'm shining. <laughs> I'm shining bright like a diamond, Rihanna style. <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, Please. This is good stuff. I'll try to uh, try to think of. Thank you. There's not a ton of times where I really lose my cool like that. Um, there's been a couple times where where people are like, "Hey, can I just can I just um, can I talk to you about your set?" Like, and they have that tone. You know, wait, wait, wait. People do that. Everyone, people who are who are not good audience members after shows, they're like, "Hey, can I talk to you about one of you, those jokes that you did?" <laughs> and do you know what I say say to them? Do you know what I say to them? This is a real one that happened. <laughs> Dude, your eyes can't keep going. I love this it. This is a real. This is a real thing that happened. Your eyes. Are- I know they're huge right <laughs> now. Keep going. I love Steve it. Steve loves me melting down. <laughs> I he love loves it. it. Keep going. If this makes you happy, then it there does, you go. It's bring, hey, can it's I bring a lot of joy? Can I, it's bring a lot of joy to me right now. Can I talk to you about one of your jokes? Stay on the story. Okay, this stay one on the story. Can I talk to you about one of your jokes? And do you know what I said? I go, no, <laughs> you can't. And this lady goes, what do you mean? I go, you can't talk to me about whatever you're about to say. <laughs> I wish I had a camera right now. So- I can take a picture of the facial expression watch, I love just, so much. Just watch the episode uh, later. I and, love and, it. And she goes, what do you mean? I go, whatever you're about to say is not going to be productive to this conversation. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, you don't want to hear what I have to say? I go, I don't. I go, I've oh, been man. doing comedy professionally and I don't need to take whatever note you're about to give me. And that's when that's when I lose my cool. Is when is there you go. There was a third incident, buddy. <laughs> you know what that 
the facial expression. Oh, I hate I, sharing the, this the, stuff. The, the one that I grew to love so much in what? the last five minutes. What? I, dude, viewers and fans out there, please capture that facial expression I love so much. That, and let's make that into a t-shirt. That's an excess of pros t <laughs> What do what? Me upset? This is for me. I just, me upset? I like it, man. It's funny. Can we talk about your ER trip? <sighs> I mean, dude, that'll take an hour, my friend. Just give me some cliff notes. Give me some good stuff. Okay. We've been, you've been all, all right. Uh, people want to know, this you know. Is, dude, I'm, I'm enjoying this episode, by the way. I oh, really good. am. Good. Um, first of all, I had never been a patron in, I uh, went to Cedar sinai Mm-hmm. Okay. First went to the clinic. Eye drops weren't working. I'm like, okay, this is getting worse. Went to Cedar. Yeah. And I was going to take the hit. I had no insurance. I'll pay out of pocket. Oof. We get there. Um, and, uh, you know, Craig drops me off. He goes back home. I literally am in that room for f- five, six, seven hours. Mm. No joke. I'm there forever. While I was there, you could have filmed a reality TV show slash movie. Like... I saw every type of scenario where it just was like, I've never seen that before. Yeah. Where it was, I felt like I was watching a movie. First one, so I'm in there, I'm sitting there. Uh, she was Armenian or Persian. Well, I don't know. She was, it was, she was like a 28 year old uh, Persian Armenian lady with her father. Her father kind of looked like, um, like a Danny DeVito. He had the, you know, ball, you know, he had that body type, you know? So hot. Yeah, just like a kind of like a stocky, you know, concerned father. Her nose was just leaking fluid and blood like for a long time. <laughs> Why are you, dude, hold up, dude. We might have to cut this out. Why are you laughing? Because. Why it, are you laughing? It sounds like the worst place ever. Yeah, it, it was It was a nightmare to watch. So she had this, they gave her this. Did, blue, she, have a, did she have a honker like me? She no, it was, she had a smaller, she had a smaller. It was like in between mine and yours. Okay, but she was literally like doing this and like for like at, like an hour and a half, two hours, like just it would just not stop, and I just felt so bad for. Her. I'm like, dude, was she trying to put it back up? No, she was just she couldn't even look up. Dude, why are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, just keep going. Okay, she she was doing this and just like once in a while she would like look up. <laughs> Dude, you're making me laugh now. She would, she's, she, and once in a while she would look up, but literally it was this like for hours, like just her doing this. That was number one. Did you try to get her number? We got to edit that out, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Second one, it was literally a scene from like a teenage drug movie, like dazed and confused or mm-hmm. whatever. These kids. The, like the Hessian surfer kids with tie dye, like your typical stoner kids, five of them coming in with their friend in a wheelchair, ODing. Oh my God. Like, get, get we need someone now, man. You know, we need someone now. You know, like it was crazy. And I'm just, I'm watching this. It's like, it was literally I, like when you're witnessing stuff like this, you're like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm here right now. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they that was it, like, you know, like imagine high schoolers trying to like communicate with the receptionist lady in like a mature manner, but they were like, "He need, we need it now, man." You know, so that was number two, where I'm like, "Oh, that was interesting." Okay, number three, a lat a Latin couple came in. Mm. Um, they were in their like early thirties, mm-hmm. um, and she, the the uh, the boyfriend was uh, wheeling. Um, her wife or girlfriend in yeah the whole time she was moaning so loud where if it sounded like like an alien was stuck in her chest can i do a little bit i'll back up yeah like for like an hour straight you know like screaming yeah you know in agony this is in the the way. <laughs> this is in the way. 
waiting room, man. And and what was your energy as you approached just Dude, to check in? I was literally like, because I was looking at other people waiting, because everyone was there for hours and hours and hours. Yeah. And I was looking at them, and like we're all. I would like look like let's say you're one of the patient, like yeah, you know, the patients. I'm looking at them, and then we're looking. We're both looking at the thing together. Like, do you believe this is happening? Right. Like, I can't believe we're witnessing this right now. She was so loud. <gasps> You know, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Did you get her number? No, I didn't get her, I didn't get her number. Mm, missed opportunity. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to throw in the fourth one. Okay, fourth curveball and you're out. A elderly black lady was there for hours. So basically every ethnicity was there. Everything you could possibly Everything imagine, the they were in there. The old Russian I mean, you couple. Just said the old the white gay couple, the the Hispanic everything. The everything was there. Like we are the world. Yeah, yeah. The Filipino okay. guy, the work guy, the yeah. just the you know, he, something's wrong with him. You know, he's the got the mask like, on. The guy's like, it's, it's just an anything, Mario. Could, he's they there. were in there. They were yeah, in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. This elderly black lady, out of nowhere, I just heard this loud thump. Boom. And I'm like, she was in the other, there, okay, so it was split into like the other section. Mm-hmm. So I had a, like, she had f- fell asleep, fallen over <laughs> no. and hit her head onto the, con- onto the hard surface. We got a down one here. We got a down one. You know, it was like, what the? Did she pass out? No, no. She, I don't know. It didn't look good. Cause I'm like. Like not that that was like the most gnarliest because people were like, oh, we have someone's down, and so they <sighs> the the I guess the reception people reception the workers that they're used to seeing stuff. Yeah. All right, we got it down right here. Need the stretcher bar. Yep, yep, yep. You know we. Yeah, they and, handle and all so they, calm and everything. Yeah, but then I talked to this other guy, this other cat who was there the same amount of time yeah. I was, and he goes, "Hey, man." That's how you get seen faster. If you fall. <laughs> He's encouraging you to fall? <laughs> no, no, but that's his way of saying there's there's certain indicators where patients are seen faster than others. This is insane. And he said those are that's one of them. After that had happened, he like kind of whispered. I mean, this dude was OG Loke from like Compton. Like he was like, yeah. I mean, we got in an hour discussion about like, we got in an hour discussion about like Tupac and like um, Suge Knight. And was how, he impressed with you? What do you mean? Was he impressed that you had that knowledge, that hip hop yeah, knowledge? He did, yeah, he did. Because like he knew like, he knew like halfway through, I knew like You actually knew your stuff. stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, hey man, that's how you do it. You yeah, got to fall. Then they'll they'll take you in. I'm like, huh? He goes, yeah. There's certain, there's other certain things. Instances. Well, you gotta fall to be jumped in. <laughs> yeah. Or, so it's either that, or you're that lady that you're in such agony, like you're about to give birth. When or something. you said you heard a thud, I thought an elderly woman unhooked her bra and her titties hit the ground. No, it was like a head hitting the concrete. Oh, like, okay. Boom. Mm. There's a couple other ones too. Oh God, there's a couple other ones. I don't want. I mean, these are more depressing. Yeah. These but. were the fun ones. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So, you finally get seen. I mean, this is... After six seven and hours. A half, this is over five hours. Yeah. I got to a point where... Because I didn't have my... um, I didn't have my nicotine... Like, I didn't why have did, my Why didn't you have your nicotine on you? Because I just needed to get there. I didn't have my Velo... Uh, I had like so you an didn't old have one. Like I a, had just, I was, it just started getting hard on me. You didn't have a vice basically to nothing. pass the time. Were you nothing. scrolling Instagram? Nothing. What were you doing? Nothing. Yeah, I was just on Instagram. Then I would like take a power nap. And then I, but, but then again, I was just getting, I mean, the stuff that I mentioned, th- these are like full on movies I was watching in yeah. real life. Yeah. And so I, I almost lost hope. I'm like, dude, I don't, because it now is just like approaching four or five in You're the like, morning. You're like, I might not ever get like seen. Like four or five in the morning, four thirty five in the morning, <sighs> something like that. So just the one of the dudes came out, Lay, man, Lay. I go, huh? Lay, man. I go, Lee. Yeah, Lay, Navin. I go, that's me. You know, and then yeah. I go, you say my name. I'm Stephen Lee. Goes, yeah, come name, on. Say my name yeah. when no one is around yeah. you. Say, baby, I love you. I ain't running game. Yeah. So that was my experience, man. But then what so happened? So I saw the doctor. She was, uh, she was a nice Armenian lady. Uh, 
Yeah, and uh, she... Uh, what happened on your way out when you were... Uh, what, what you told mean? me about this. What do you mean? When you were trying to pay. Oh, okay, so... No, this happened... <laughs> This happened, pre okay, so this happened right when I got in there. They had to do a diagnosis or check your pulse. Yeah. Then maybe two hours later, the, you'd have to talk to the billing person. Then they, they um, and then like randomly they'd check your vitals, you know, your pulse. But then there's a moment where they're like, uh, Lee, Steven, uh, bill you know, I had to go to billing. So I go to this other area and the dude there, he was taking my info, but then he kept looking up at me. He goes... He was a Scissor Bros fan. <laughs> he, I mean, that's how crazy life is. No, I didn't do scissors with him. But he goes, I was just watching you. I was just watching you guys' episode. I'm like, huh? And so I just, I, I had to ask. I go, so you're going to give me the Scissor Bro discount? You're going to give me the Frugal Bro discount? No, I didn't get the discount. You didn't get it? Yeah, it was like 1400 Oh, 1400 Ooh. plus more afterwards. That's a lot of internet, my friend. Yeah. Ooh. No insurance. Yeah. Ooh. But he was a Scissor Bros fan. That's fun. So shout out to him. I forgot his name. I don't. He didn't have a name tag on or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Cedar did Scissor I, Siblings. I texted you that, huh? Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. You're like, I, Isn't you're that crazy like, you're like, I can't make this up. That's what you said to me. You're I can't, like, make, I can't it make it up. This up. I mean, this guy. I mean, that's the last Cause person I, cause on I said, earth. I'm literally like in agony. And I'm. We're talking about how much money I have to pay to this institution, this medical institution. And this guy's like, "Susan Bros." Because <laughs> because you texted me. <laughs> what that, are you that, talking about, man? That he he kn knew you from that, and I said, "Did you ask yeah. for a discount?" LOL. And you I go, did. "I asked I for the did. Scissor Bros." I, I said, do I, "Do I get the Scissor Bros discount?" He goes, "I can't do it, man." I'm sorry. Do you think anybody has the right in that position to give any kind of discounts at the hospital? Probably not. I don't know. You know, it was interesting too, just like just the amount of different like, you know, occupations within, you know, the hospital, just that setting. It's yeah. like you have the reception person, you have the, 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 the pulse person or the person that checks your vitals. Then you have your yeah. security. There's so many things going on. Yeah. I'm sure maybe the head ER doctor doctor or the head has can the wave ER, something or yeah. be like uh, give the family discount Maybe or something like that they could put in a word okay it's been a real good episode for me you know it's yeah been, yeah it's oh you know what um i want to give a shout out to our buddy andrew nicholas um because oh, yeah, he uh he gave us a a present and we're going to show you the unwrapping right now this is a great. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you're getting a blowjob tonight. You're getting a blowjob tonight. Why you blowing some salad toss? I'm going to have some salad. I thought you could do guacamole. Dude. Let's cross them. Dude. I like oh, some guacamole. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, <laughs> Two, three, four, yeah, 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 dude, I know you're not, like, feeling, like, 100%, but, felt, but like, you know what, but the thing is, honestly, your spirits? I really, I felt good about it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you feel like your spirits no, have been lifted? No, you know, I miss just hanging out and shooting the shit with you. Of course. And, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, it's not like I like laying in bed just... Right. You know what I mean? I wanted to do stuff, see you, do stuff, show up to my stuff. Well, are you ready for the challenge? Am, will I be ready for the challenge? I think you'll find the challenge kind of fun. But it's a ch challenging. But it's not going to... But you thought about what I'm going through medically. Though, right. It's while not, thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Just don't beat around the bush. Okay, just, okay. Just say it. Okay, so this is the harmonica pain challenge. <laughs> well, I always got my harmonica with me. Oh, I know you do. I'm always in this bag. So I know what's, you. what's the challenge? So there's an internet trend that I've been sent by multiple scissor siblings that want us to do this challenge. Okay. We're basically going to hit each other and try not 
to make noises with the harmonica. We can't breathe through our nose. We have to bite down. What do you mean hit, hurt each other? We're going to hit each other. With what? I've got some weapons. I mean like a wooden sword or... A wooden spoon. I knew it. I knew it. We're always on the same or, tangent. Uh, a Christmas tree. Okay. And then a, a whisk, like a metal whisk, like a beater. Um, so are, do we, ha can I have my jacket on or off? Or like we, what? We'll have to, we'll, yeah. We'll choose the different body positions in the middle. In the middle? Um, yeah. We'll meet in the middle. You ready? I like it. That's, it's a recreative one. And then, and then whoever makes the most noise during each round, we'll do three rounds for each item. Yeah. The one who makes the most noise, the punishment is they have to do one more round where they make a song with the melodica while they're being hit. I like that. Okay, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Yeah, yeah. I missed you, buddy. Missed you, man. <laughs> I did. I did. I missed you, missed buddy. Missed you, dude. It's, it's weird. It's, it's been a fun episode. When we when, <laughs> when when we don't spend a week together, it feels like an eternity. I know. I know. It feels like an eternity. But when I see you, it's like going back home, baby. I you know, know. It's, it, nothing's changed. I know. Nothing's changed. Everything's baby. good. Yeah. All right. So this is how this challenge is gonna work. We both have our har harmonicas. Yeah. Whoever oh, you got a fancy one. That this is one for the PO Ooh. box. We got sent. We got one for the PO okay. box. Yeah. Which, if you want to send stuff to PO box. <laughs> P.O. Box number 78375, Los Angeles, California, 90016, yeah. Jeremiah Watkins slash SB. There you go. There you go. Uh, so I got this from the P.O. Box. When we, we're going to do the wooden spoon first. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you said that wait, we're going to. Wait, wait, you have, pa no, you got to take a this A cell phone. Out. It's a cell phone. Yeah, take, that's padding. Oh, that's dude, protection. I, I don't that's want you, protection. I don't want you hitting well, my cell phone. I know, but what's that? Yeah, there you go, man. That's protect. That's armor. You're always looking that's for That's armor. Freaking... Yeah, hold on. Let me, can I, can I check? Yeah, dude. Wait, look, hold on. Look, no, look, no, no, no. Here, look. Oh, you don't there have you to go. do that. You want me to do the two? Yeah. You want me to do it too? Yeah, dude. Like that? Yeah. Okay. We're going freaking thigh, dude. We're here? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Or is okay. it more up? More up here. Is that better? No, this would be good, but I'm afraid if it hits your kneecap. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right there. there right okay. there. Right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to hit each other and try not to make noise okay. with these harmonicas. Okay. Are you ready? Well, you go first. I go first. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me prep. Let me. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me bite this. You ready? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Can I stand up for mine? We gotta do a couple more of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta do a couple more. All right, are you ready? this freaking thing. Oh. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, that was something. That was definitely something. Yeah. Mm. That was Ralph Macchio at the crossroads, oh, my friend. Dude, look at what you did. Let's switch weapons. This is a fun okay, one. Okay, so who won that round? Um, I still think you did. I don't know, man. You might mine was louder, me. I think. What? Was mine louder? The harmonica? Yeah. Yours was you sustained more. You got me. Well, that's what I'm worried about. I think you got me that round. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it is my thing. All right. Okay, what's the next one? This Christmas tree. One. Christmas tree. Christmas tree? Yeah. This is going to be on the belly. <laughs> what? You have yeah. to lift up your shirt? Mm-hmm. Here, well, you have to sit sit down so people can still see you. You ready? 
You ready? <laughs> Let's just do one more round of this. You just want one? This, I don't like this you one. You don't like this one? I don't like this one. Okay. Well, this is not fair because... You gotta, you gotta No, this here. is not fair because you have your right hand. All right. Yeah, I have my weaker hand. See, you had yeah, your then, right... Then I'll, then I'll switch yeah, 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 yeah. Lift up your shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. Wow, you, did I... Did I? I didn't do a sound like. Did I do a sound as loud as that? You're. All right, do. All right, just do. Do another one of these. Okay. 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 Hold on. Give me a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my harmonica. Okay. Let me get my harmonica. Lift it up. Uh, 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 uh. You ready? Uh. Here we go, man. Lift up your shirt. Oh my goodness, Steve. Lift up your shirt. God damn it. Let's do one. Uh, we're good on that. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> hey, did that count? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> here, here, here. Oh. God damn it. You ready? Yeah, what's the next one? We can oh, do. we done? Yeah, okay. yeah, we're done with that. Who won that one? You won it. Okay. Wait, hold on. Down to the final. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. 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 Nipple? Mm -hmm. Or? Hmm. No. Arm? Ooh, arm. Arm, arm, arm. Forearm. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. That's a little twang. Now it's my turn. We don't have to switch seats on my right arm. Okay. Can you put your arm straight, like, like, yeah, like Ray. <laughs> that counted! That counted! That counted! Yeah! Oh, I won! Yeah, I won! Oh, yes! We're just doing one on that one? Yeah. Give me another. What do you give mean? Give me another try. Dude, my eye hurts. <laughs> I won, baby. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So. All right, well. I had you, a fun episode. You get you get, a, you get to hit me with the, 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 I have to do a melodica. I have to make a song while you hit me multiple times. Uh, can I pick my weapon? Yeah. Wooden spoon. Oh my goodness. Where <laughs> are you? Spoon. Okay, where are you hitting me? Don't worry, that's for me to decide. Okay, come back, come back. That's for me to decide. So what, so what do you have to make a song? Like, you have to use that? People keep asking, seeing where these um, scissor bros, uh, these subtle scissor sibling shirts are. We are only selling these at the live show uh, <laughs> right now, but we'll be in, in Pennsylvania next weekend. Yes. At Soul Joel's. At Soul Joel's. Get your tickets today. If it's on have, my Instagram as well as his. If you're on the East Coast, Link tree. we don't know the next time we're going to be uh, on the East Coast, so mm -hmm. maybe come see us in Pennsylvania next You got to dress warm. You have to. No, too. it's gonna be very cold I, for us. For us, dude, I it's gonna winters. be. I know. It's real weather out there. Okay. I'm not bringing shorts. I swear to you. This has been a fun episode, man. Yeah, man. Alright, that was just the Subscribe. first verse. Oh, really? <laughs> Five, four. No, 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 not yet. Relax. Five, relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 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 it's so cold. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Alright, dude.
I love you, man. I love you too, did, man. Did I improve your mood? Yeah, dude, it was a fun episode. Hey, comment below. Comment below, we guys. We had fun this episode. Shout out to my brother Steve for showing up. He has yeah. conjunctivitis. He's still here for yeah. you guys. I'll get better for Pennsylvania. We know that there wasn't, um, uh, you know, as many effects and stuff this episode, but we rarely record the same week that this oh, goes yeah, out, yeah, so yeah. this is this a little bit been more raw. Week. It's been an off week. Um, yeah. But we hope that this has been a good New Year's. And you know what we, we can do? What? Let's count down together where if they line this up perfectly, then it then maybe they're watching this on New Year's. And let's do a New Year's dance right now. Okay, cool. In the middle. Okay, cool. Um... So like let's do a ten like a countdown like a ten. Yeah, right. I like what you're doing there. Yeah. Like yeah, like that. Like okay. that. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Ten, ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Thank you to all of our scissors siblings yeah. who have been supporting us. And this stay been, with us in 2022. Stay with us in 2022. We're just getting started, folks. Send us more emails. We yes. want to uh, oh, show more your ideas. videos. Scissorbrospod at gmail.com. Yes, scissor bro, uh, challenge ideas. Challenge ideas. Yeah. Uh, all that stuff, mm -hmm. music. We want to keep using the Absolutely. stuff that you guys send us. You guys watching the Absolutely. show, interacting. Mm -hmm. We love you. We're super grateful for this unbelievable year. Oh, you yeah. guys have changed our life it's this year. It's been great. It's been it's great. It's been awesome. I love you, dude. I love you too, man. Happy New Year. <laughs> that really hurt my back. I'm so sorry. Scissor Brothers! Um. Hello? Is anyone still there? It's your pal Gerald, wishing you guys happy holidays. A lot on my mind this week, I didn't get to see family, so it means a lot that you guys are like my family and you come out and support us every week and that's just pretty cool. And cool Stevie to show up with his fucking pink eye. I mean, that's kind of wild, man. Like, I'm a, I'm a wild animal, but I was, you know, standing next to him. I was like, am I going to fucking get this? Thanks for looking out, Jeremiah. And does that guy have, like, anger issues or something? I don't know. A lot of stories. Some stuff was adding up that were a little bit funky. Oh, yeah. On our Patreon, we just dropped an exclusive look. It's the full feature film that Jeremiah starred in in 2015 called I Lived. So if you're a Patreon subscriber, go check that out. And if you're not, it's only five bucks. So we love you guys. And uh, thanks so much for your support. And uh, we'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. I started to make him think Can about you the next time I fart in his eye. <laughs>